By combining the data, we increase our sensitivity to Higgs searches. So, for example, if each experiment has five inverse femtobarn of data, then one now has a reach of 10 inverse femtobarn. And uh, in that data sample, one could make a much stronger statement about existence or non-existence of the Higgs boson. Before we combine, we first have to agree on a common language to describe the results of our searches. And this language is a statistical one. Uh, and, uh, and we have uh, a very good agreement on how we describe our data. And this was developed over the last six months, and we have been using it since then in each experiment and in the combined results. Okay, now we saw the success here. Uh, so you already saw this in the combination of models and CMS, a little bit of excess, two single excess here. Uh, and of course, when combine, since it's self consistent, so we have two sigma in atlas, two sigma in CMS, since it's self consistent, when you combine, you get a boost to the success. Uh, it's up to us to decide what we do with this material. First of all, we have to understand, and the reason why it has been presented today in full detail, there will be also the notes circulating tonight. Everybody will be invited to take a look in detail to all this, is to be sure that we are doing correctly the, the, the quite complex exercise that Andre was describing. CMS and ATLAS together in coincidence they have to agree to the content or modifications to what should be shown before it's a done deal. There's several good things about this paper which is that it shows that the, the CMS ATLAS combination works and that is not obvious to people in the outside world that we can actually put this huge thing together and get the kind of agreement that Andre was showing in those plots. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Whatever you do, even from what we've given out already for EBS, people can do this kind of combination and yeah. do that themselves. In fact, they did. Yeah. And it's been shown already even at meetings. Partially as a joke, partially as for real. But the thing is that it is not being validated by the experiments, which makes a very big difference. Do we make a combination? And the combination, if we do make it, uh, is going to be uh, a limit, a limit which is conservative. Yep. But on the other hand, we don't have to do it. I understand that there are two, uh, if you wish, contradictive arguments uh, why do we do the combination. One is, uh, well, why we have two experiments, I have to say. One, one is to cross-check. You know, we, we want to be on the same side. If one experiment doesn't notice something, you know, we cross-check. <coughs> to me, this is the most important part. Yeah. Another argument which sometimes is brought up, that we get twice more statistics, so we get a combination. Yeah. Uh, we, get, we can make a discovery more better. Yeah. More sensitivity, right. To me, this is much more secondary. I mean, the majority of CMS seems to be not in favor of presenting the combination of Atlas and uh, CMS left on photo. We are presenting now those results because uh, we have set up a group uh, to go through the technicalities of this combination early July. And things are very complex and we wanted to be sure that everything is well understood and under control. This took a few months and this is why now we are ready to publish and to present in public. The result is very interesting because it shows two things. The first thing is that the sensitivity the two experiments have is exactly what we were planning, maybe a bit better. This votes for well to the period in which we'll be able to analyze the entire data sets and maybe combine together ATOS and CMS results on five inverse femtobar collected in 2011. And the second interesting thing is that there are fluctuations, excessive events in the low mass region that could be very interesting. Again, we have the hope that collecting the, 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 the analyzing the entire data sets of 2011 we might understand better the meaning of these fluctuations. They could be simply statistical fluctuations, or some of them could be the first hint of the presence of the standard model X boson. The Atlas plus CMS combination has excluded a much larger region of X boson masses than the previous experiments. So you can see from this plot, the black, limit, the black line is the limit that we set on the amount of signal. So when it goes below this red line at 1, it's because we're excluding the standard model Higgs. And so the region that's excluded by LHC is all this white orange region here. 
while the previous experiments only excluded this narrow region here and this two narrow regions here.